Hi, son. What you doing? I'm doing that homework project. You mean the project to learn about work? The one where you have to find a real job you can help with? Dad, I already told you no. Mm. Oh, please. It'll be fun. Honest. <laughs> like father, like son. Sorry, Dad, but selling soap really isn't the kind of job I'm looking for. I'm writing to famous activists, heads of ecological campaigns, the President of the United Nations. Hey, son. Have you got to find a homework job, too? Huh? How'd you like to become my right-hand man, traveling the wide-open highway, from door to door, selling the clean stuff? Ugh, too late, Dad. I'm with Dirty Joe. Woohoo! I got a letter from the United Nations! Yes, and what? All rejections. <laughs> this time I'm gonna get a good grade and you're gonna get a big fat F for failure! No, wait! This one's a real job offer. Sort of. Save the pine krill! Pine krill need help. They may be tiny, but they have rights too. Give krill a chance. Wow, Mari, what's that? An electric guitar? I have to take it to be restrung. Cool. Is that your job project? Yeah. I'm roadieing for Lemon Lime Disaster, the band. Last night I got to plug in the amps and remix the sound. Uh, is this your job? No. This is just a hobby. You know, helping out a good cause. How's the job, girl pants? <laughs> Saved any krill yet? <laughs> Dirty Joe's taking me to the tar pits to learn about deep grunge foraging. Save Pond Krill! Help, Krill! Help! Krill power! Yeah, right. Whatever. Let's see what you got, kid. There's nothing in here but buttons and bottle tops. What? There isn't even a real coin from Mari? You're fired. But my position was voluntary. Oh, never mind, Lucian. There must be other jobs you can learn about. Jobs closer to home. Okay, I give in. <sighs> Would you take me to work with you, Dad? I'd be proud and delighted. <laughs> My day has been super cool! <gasps> Need food! <laughs> Don't touch anything! In the bath, now! Oh, good. Get off! Oh, that's enough! Oh, ow! Hmm. I'm going to have to soak you in solvents. But, Mom, I want to come out now. I'm hungry. Wow! <laughs> A tight tie inspires confidence, son. Loose ties, lose sales. <laughs> Yeah, but it's cutting my brain off. Good luck, boys. Clean up out there. My samples are shiny, and my son is my luckiest charm. Mom! I'm getting really, really, really hungry. <laughs> I suppose 
wish you could have a little snack, as long as you promise not to get crumbs in the water. This solution is what we'll be promoting today. Pit Stop, our new underarm deodorant for men. Oh, <laughs> it's hot stuff. Very high sales potential. Good morning, sir. I wonder if I could take just a moment of your time to talk about perspiration. <laughs> Mustn't be discouraged. <laughs> Positive thinking is the key. I wonder if I could take just a moment to talk about your husband's perspiration. Hand me the product, son. But, Dad, this stuff can cause skin irritation. No, it can't. Yes, it can. Look at these awful ingredients. This stuff can cause scalp furrows, chin crustings, skin grease, Sideburns! This has been my worst day ever. Can I come in now? Can I come out now? I think I was in the water too long. But at least you're not sticky anymore. My junk project! It was a big fat file with pieces of junk stuck in it! I threw it away! What? I actually did my homework and you threw it away? It was sticky. So what am I supposed to do for my project now? Good luck, boys! Clean up out there! Better tighten your tie. Wayne looks just fine the way he is. And you're going to keep quiet today. Understood? Say nothing. I'm sure you might care to try the product. Uh, uh, son, hand me the... Pit stop, lady! It's called that because it stops our pits in their tracks. My mommy smiles when my daddy squirts pit stop on. Why, that stuff sounds terrific. Yes, Wayne! <laughs> you did it! You actually sold something. Yeah, but he lied! You don't use pit stop, and it doesn't make Mom smile. You just don't understand sales tactics, Lucian. Go on, Wayne! Knock him dead, son! And pit stop is the only deodorant with added nutritional value! <laughs> which reverses hair loss and cleanses. And today, my dad's offering money back prizes, car wash tokens, holiday lunch boxes, clean clothes, and free ponies. But, but, but! Wow! This was my best sales day ever! Oh, our Wayne's a smooth-talking, money-making, hot sales phenomenon! But, Dad, Wayne told that tall man he could have Wendy Winkle's ponies! You did what? I was selling! I sold, didn't I? Look, Dad! There he is! There he is! Uh, that's the salesman who made me the offer. A uh, deal is a deal! Cramp. Okay. He is my salesman. I know business, you get the pony. But, Daddy, it's mine! Who oh, don't fret, sugar coating? Mr. Cramp will buy you another three ponies out of his wages. Won't you, Cramp? Yes. Uh, yes, yes, sir. <laughs> oh, Daddy, you're so 
so clever at business. Make somebody put all this stuff in my homework project. Help the pony fund, please help the pony fund. All contributions gratefully received, blah, blah, blah. shoe your sister lost? Definitely. Hmm. Ah. There's nothing. Yes, there is so. That's not pink. That's brown. Yeah, I know. But it's pink brown. The real question is, how do you know it was there? Hmm. Oh, wow. You must be psychic. But like my grandmother, she could tell what kind of soup someone was going to make. She'd get the taste in her mouth and... I don't think so, Tony. I really don't believe in all that psychic power stuff. Okay, then. Let's do a scientific test. Shut your eyes and tell me if you can taste something. Fine. Let's see. Um, chocolate. And toothpaste. And, um... Mud! Chocolate marsh fungus! Which direction is the taste coming from? Oh, uh... Maybe that way. Uh, I think... Whoa! <laughs> yes! Chocolate marsh fungus! It's exactly where you were pointing! Amazing! Exploding soap powder may damage some washing machines. Guess what? I have psychic powers! That's nice, son. Watch this! The next program on this channel is going to be... Wild Card Roundup! Wow! My favorite show, too! Ha! Anyone can do that! After Wild Card Roundup is Bulldog in the Dock, then Glamour and Splendor, then a movie about kissing, then... <sighs> I'm going to do my homework. Yeah! Try using your psychic powers on that, Mystic Mandy Pants! Hmm, not a bad idea. For a Neanderthal. <laughs> well done, Wayne. Another fat F grade for your collection. I guess English is not your subject either. Lucian, you got an A. Maybe I'll try that on you, Wayne, if you fail your science test. So, you got an A before. It doesn't mean you have ESP. No. It's true, Mari. I have special powers. But you always call psychics telepathetic solution. I know, but I can prove it. I'll guess what color socks you have on. You already looked. No, I didn't. Do you always have to make those lines on your forehead? It makes you look defective. Shush, Mari. Wait. Um... Green! Totally telepathetic. Wait, Mari, give me another chance! Two out of three? Huh? Where's that stupid science test? Boys, girls, and delinquents. As 
you can see, somebody spent their lunch break breaking my desk. <laughs> but I've handed the matter over to Chemistry Department Forensics. So, if anyone stole the test paper and thought they'd get away with it, they'd better think again. So, you made a mistake. That doesn't prove you don't have psychic powers. What? Nothing. It better not be. See? You are psychic. You know what Wayne's thinking, don't you? No, Tony. I don't... I just... No, Tony. Dad! Lucian keeps looking at me. Lucian, stop looking at your brother. Stop humming, girl pants! Dad! Stop humming, girl pants. Lucian. I'm blocking Wayne's thoughts out. Yeah? Well, I'll block your thoughts out. Are these my thoughts or Wayne's thoughts? How can I tell? I suppose if I did have a Wayne thought, it would be like... <laughs> Junk! <laughs> that really was a Wayne thought, Lucian. You are psychic. No, he isn't. He's just imagining us. He's not psychic at all. Yes, he is, Mari. Keep out. He is. <sighs> Don't listen, Lucian. These are your own thoughts. Remember my socks? Mari must be right. I couldn't know what Wayne was thinking. Junk! Huh? <laughs> Who thought that? No! Go away! Wrestling! Big truck! Explosion! Bang! Cheating! Do good on test! <gasps> oh, what if Psychic Pants knows? What if he tells? <laughs> Get caught! By Miss Hissy! And chemistry boys! <laughs> Don't cheat! Do bad on test! Be happy! <laughs> what? What were you just thinking? Nothing. Tell me, Wayne. I need to know. Oh, thank goodness. I thought you were thinking of pouring cereal over me. Mm -hmm. Well, if I'd have thought of that, I would have done it! <laughs> Mom? Big mess! Big mess! You're trying to tell me you actually read his mind. I don't know, Mari. Maybe. So, I suppose you'll be using your psychic power in today's test, then. Oh, no! The test! I forgot! I didn't study. I, oh, I don't believe it. Lucian, I... don't panic. Keep calm. Here, maybe this will help. What? It's a good luck crystal charm. It's not cheating. But, Mari, are you telling me you believe in crystal power? No. But, well, maybe. I don't know. You can give it back if you don't want it. Class, before you take your test, I have something to share with you from the chemistry department. Forensics found a piece of gum stuck to a piece of paper of the flavor a certain person is known to chew. <gasps> you! <gasps> no, it wasn't me. I didn't do anything. Never lies. You may all start the test now. I didn't study. I didn't study. I didn't study. I need to concentrate. Use my special powers. It's no use. Nothing. Zilch. Even Wayne is writing. I'm doomed. I'm sorry, Tony, but that proves it once and for all. I'm not psychic. Even Wayne passed the stupid test. Wayne passed? But how? It was a test about explosives. Either that or you channeled him the right answers. Boom! Ah! 
Or maybe Wayne's psychic, too. Do you ever suddenly get a taste in your mouth, Wayne? Hmm. Like what, shrimp boy? Beetroot? No! Tony! Stop! Mrs. Gramp, what are you cooking? Pizza flakes, Tony. But they won't be ready until you boys have disinfected your hands. Oh, thank nature, Tony. I don't think I could have coped with a Wayne with psychic powers. Can I have my lucky crystal back now? <gasps> Mari, your face! It's all red! Oh, that's from my supper. We just had beetroot pie. Thank you. 